Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to my video tutorial today. My name is Melissa and I want to show you how to make this Audi logo with the chrome rings. So I'm going to get started. Open up a new document and I'm going to make it by 1215 by 1215. 72 pixels per inch and I want to... I got this image off of Google and I want to drag it over to my new document just for reference. I'm going to make a new layer, use my elliptical marquee tool, hold down shift and draw a ring. I'm going to fill it with black and with black as the layer or as the color that is the foreground, I'm going to hold down Alt and Backspace and fill it. Then I'm going to Control D to deselect. I'm going to draw another ring. And I need to hold down Shift. Make it a little smaller. Hold down shift to make it a perfect circle. Use my space bar to kind of move it to where I think it needs to be. But I don't even really need to do that. I can leave it right there if I want. And with this layer selected, I'm going to go up to layer, align layers to selection, vertical centers, layer again, align layers to selection, horizontal centers. And there the, the circular selection is now centered within our black circle. Now I can just hit delete and then we have our ring. Next I want to do a gradient overlay and it's important to set it at angle. I'm going to double click to bring up my gradient editor. I have this gradient saved and the colors are 68, 68, 68 for the gray and then pure white. I have the first one set at 15%, next one's at 40, next one's about at 56, and 86, and 100. And click OK. And there you go, you can see what it looks like right there. Next, I want to give it a bevel and emboss. And inner bevel is what we want to use for the style. Chisel hard for the technique. With our depth, we're going to go up to about 154%. Size all the way over to 250. Soften, leave at zero. I'm going to leave this at 120. I'll uncheck global light just so it doesn't affect anything else. 30 degree altitude screen for the highlight mode. Shadow mode is going to be multiply. But I'm going to drop this down to about 50%. And the screen opacity up, just to make it a little bit brighter. And click OK. OK, I'm going to zoom in really quick here because I can see that there's a white ring on top of each circle. So I'm going to draw that right now. And to help me out, I'm going to use my ruler, ruler guides and drag them right there. Now I'm going to take my elliptical marquee tool, line it up there, drag it out, hold down shift, and when I think I got it about perfect, I'm going to let go. Right click, stroke it with a two pixel stroke. I want to give it a nice white. <laughs> Might as well make it pure white. Hit enter, OK, Control D. Oop, it didn't come up. That's because I did not make a new layer. So I think I can. Go all the way back, make a new layer, right click, stroke, two pixels. There we go, control D. And that looks pretty good. And I got it lined up well too. I want to move my rulers out of the way. I don't really need them right now. Okay, now I think I can merge these two layers. Um in fact, maybe just in case, this might be a good idea to duplicate them first and 
hide your, your first two and then, then merge them just in case you need to go back and change anything. So merge those two layers and now you need to make three copies. Two and three. I'll change this one to one, this one to two, two, this one, three, this one, four. Okay. I'm gonna move this one over. Z. Move them all over here. Hold down shift to keep it straight. Click on three, drag it over. Keep it straight. I didn't make my canvas big enough, did I? But that's okay. I can always change it. So I'll change it right now. Canvas size. Need to make the width maybe five inches wider. Move them over. Now I need to take number four and drag it over. Great. It's looking pretty good. Um, so now the fun part, using our pen tool. Let's zoom in. Click on number two, layer two, and lower its opacity down to wherever you think you need it. And start clicking at these corner points because you're going to be deleting these areas. Click. You can click a little bit outside because you're going to be clipping it all off. I probably shouldn't do that. Scratch what I just said. Just try to click on the corner points. It's your best bet. Click, 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 click. It's kind of hard to see in here, but I think I got it. Click. Right click inside, make selection, feather it with zero pixels, and you can bring up your opacity again, and while you're on the layer two, hit delete. So click on any selection tool in here, and when you mouse over your selection, you're going to get a white arrow. Hold down shift and drag it over to your next ring. Oops. You don't have to hold down shift if you don't think it's going to line up perfectly or if you think you're going to have to move it anyway. So this is looking pretty good. I'm going to hit delete. No, first making sure that I'm on the layer three. Delete. Go over to the last one. delete. And if you have any pixels sticking out, you can always go in and erase them. Control D, zoom out. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to now merge layers one through four. And I want to give them a drop shadow because there's a, a small drop shadow back here. And 
I'm gonna just do maybe one pixel. One pixel there. Bring it up a little bit. And hit OK. So there is your Audi logo. It looks pretty good. The gradient doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, this is chrome, so it depends on which direction your light source is coming from. But I think this looks pretty good. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if, if you learned something, if you liked it. Thanks. Bye.